All right, good morning, everyone. It's Friday, it's day five of week eight. I hope that we are all excited, you know, to go for the weekend and also like to officially close the second month at 10 Academy. Like time really flied, time flight, guys. I can't believe we are approaching like the last month of the training. So yeah, uh, but we're closing it in style. So let's go ahead and start uh, our stand up today. And also the rest of the day is just going to be a bit relaxed because we just have to attend um, the training led conversation and also the CBS hot seat with Rahmet. So with the training led conversation, we are going to be hosted by Nyamusi and Temscan. Like guys, who's super excited like me? Any reactions? Any reactions? Any reaction? Okay, I can see. Oh, it's super, super big time. So they prepared something that is going really to be career changing, actually, as we are even approaching like the last month of the training. And after that, we're going to the job search phase. So they prepared something that is going just to be preparing us, like something that we actually need to be doing now to get ready for that kind of phase you know, even for the rest of our career, by the way. So, um, so I'm not going to, like, to reveal so much information, but it's going to be so fun. So ensure that you do not miss. And then with Rahmet, it's going to be just a hot seat. And uh, basically we just put her on spot, uh, like we will pin her here. And then we ask her any questions. To those who joined Arun's hot seat, you already know how it's run um so it's basically just asking about the professional lives and personal lives and you know anything and anything we're curious to know about them any advices about life uh how they navigate lives where they live like basically getting to know them as 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 individuals you know as people basically and uh, to those who are curious to know how also rahmet transitioned from being a trainee at 10 academy to being an employee at 10 Academy, like those kind of all questions, you know, get ready. She's ready to answer anything, any questions that you have and you want her to answer. So yeah, see you all in those two sessions. Like I'm feeling like it's just going to be a, a fun, chilled Friday. So I'm super excited. I hope you are also all excited about it. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into then our normal routine stand up. Um, but before we progress, how is everyone doing? I'm feeling like I'm hyped up. I'm with the energy. But how about you? How about you? How are you getting ready for the weekend? Any word in the chat box? Or are you feeling excited like you can't wait for the week to end? Or exhausted? Or I mean, how is it? How we see it? Any just one word to describe how you're doing in the chat box? Just if you're just looking forward to the weekend, like oh, he can wait. Ahmed is excited. Michael is hyped. Oh, okay. I, I like the Friday vibes. I like the Friday vibes because we can't be feeling so bad on Monday and feel bad on Fridays. So yeah. Super happy to hear that. So thanks to everyone who just shared in the chat box. Uh, yeah, but saying I'm exhausted. I'm not progressing on the challenge as I expected. Oh gosh. Yeah, but seek, seek support. If you can find someone just to navigate it with you, that would be super. And Bethlehem is neutral. Okay, get it better, Betty. And there it is feeling great. Okay, that's super, that's super. Okay, so amazing. If I might say that, I'm very okay. So let's jump into our routine stand up now. Basically, just we do as we always do. Uh, share how what you have been working on since yesterday and how you are planning to progress today. And also if you have any blocker or point of discussion you want to raise, this is the time for it. So let's go. Let's go, let's go. You can raise your hand. All right, Ahmed, go ahead. 
Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, uh, I'm so excited for the weekend because we will have uh, Eid al Adha Mubarak. So it will be very, very great uh, sociable event. So I'm so excited. Uh, sorry for the noise. Uh, um, yesterday working with the uh, data shader and uh, I noticed that uh, when I visualize uh, trip origin and trip destination, it's uh, not look good uh, like the uh, New York taxi. Uh, uh, so I don't know why the reason of this. Uh, I think the, uh, the post data uh, just uh two point or two coordinates so if anyone uh, have idea wh why this is happening uh, i would appreciate it so that's all thank you all right anyone anyone who has an idea about that Anyone who can help Ahmed? Okay, let's see. Or oh, do you want him to repeat the question? Okay, yeah. Can you repeat the question, Ahmed? Okay, uh, I'm just saying uh, that uh, when you visualize the data using data shader, uh, you notice that the visualization is not cool like uh, the example they provided about the New York taxi. Okay, uh, Michael, you think you can help? Okay, go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. I didn't do it, for, it like for, for the data shader, but the one that is put in the example, they use JavaScript code, that's why that's so beautiful and our is not so maybe you can see the github repo and uh, implement that but i don't think that's necessary like just if you see the visualization that is enough and you can go ahead with other tasks i think that's better all right ahmed how do you feel about the answer uh, okay, thank you, Michael. But uh, I just wondering, uh, they are just coordinates like we have. So I tried the same example. So why this is my question? But uh, if it took a time, we can uh, anyone come answer me in Slack. Okay, all right. Uh, but before we proceed, Emtina, did you, do you have anything you would like to add? um no not really because i missed actually i didn't hear the question from the start so i just came into um so unless you want to repeat the question maybe uh i wanted to i want to repeat the question uh but i think i would took time uh i don't i don't want to waste time i i want to other to share but uh, I will say it, uh, the, the example they provided in uh, data shader, uh, I used the same example, uh, but uh, I used uh, the trip origin and trip destination instead of their data. And uh, the, the output was not uh, something good or something can give you uh, any meaning. So that was my question. Yeah, I see. Um, okay, I actually I don't have anything to add at this. Uh, or this, I I don't know what is uh, like. Um, I I heard that Michael was was giving an answer. So was uh, do you know what is the reason for that?
Michael? I was saying that if you get basic data visualization, that is enough and to proceed with the other tasks. I was just suggesting that. But if there is so other detailed question, he can ask it in the Slack. Maybe others can answer as well. I see. Okay, so yeah, I, I like okay. So I since I don't have anything to add here, let's move on. Um, yeah. So it's just like what what Michael is saying is is like um, actually a good advice basically. If you don't get it, if you the data you have doesn't provide you with enough insight, you can move on to the next uh, steps. But um, I'm not sure if there is an issue. So, like, uh, if you share on Slack, it, other people might be able to help more. Uh, sorry if I, I'm not adding um, any value to this uh, question. But Pascal, we can. I think we can move to the next question. Sure. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead with the next person. You can raise hands, and uh, we can follow the queue then. Let's raise our hands. Basically, if you do not have any problem, just also update us on uh, what you're working on. All right, Melaku. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, I, I was working on the data visualization part uh, yesterday, and I came across some problems uh, I couldn't figure out in the data. For example, uh, one of the data has only the accepted uh, uh, orders according to the training doc document. But when I try to, for example, to compare the rain versus no rain uh, using uh, the Wazer API, there's no, uh, uh, how can I put it? There is no, uh, There, there is no like start time and uh, trip in time for the rejected order data. So how can I do that? Only for the accepted data has a trip start time. So in order to figure out the weather at a specific time, we had to have a specific time in for the order. So how can I do that? So and which data should I use for the rest of the project? Uh, so okay, um, so like this is a limitation just coming from the data. The data we have is the data we have. We cannot really make up um, the rest of it. It's true that we have more data on the accepted and like complete, uh, finished um, deliveries than on the rejected ones. So yeah, we cannot really. You are not going to be able to have a very comp like a very good comparative like um so it's not an issue that you can solve basically um uh, you have to just like um yeah so like um what maybe there is not enough for like the data on the rejected orders are not the same as the ones for the accepted but um Okay, Javis is saying there is a date for the rejected ones as well. So um, let me see as well, let me check, because like I need to check out the, the data itself at the moment. A second. Um, Uh, forgive me just one minute. I need to check.
Yeah, I apologize. Sorry, I was just looking at um, I'm taking the like uh, the data itself, and uh, I cannot see that there is any date for the rejected orders. Actually, is there a date for like um, in the second uh, table, the one that has drivers and driver action? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, uh, why I, I try to do is uh, we say that the uh, trip ID uh, and the order ID are the same, right? Right. Uh, all the two data. So uh, there are the rejected uh, order IDs can be found on the first data, on the trip ID. Yeah, the thing is that um, the thing is that like yes, it's true that we have two tables. The first one has the fulfilled orders. And the order ID there matches also the order ID in the second uh, table that has uh, like uh, it has both uh, like fulfilled and rejected orders. The problem is rejected orders in the second table don't have any corresponding data on the first table, so they don't have dates attached. That is that correct? Like, yes. I... Uh, yes. What I'm saying is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the question. So, Jab, as you can continue, I don't hear it. I don't hear you. Okay, so, all right. Um, I don't know, like, uh, what? So, so, there are like, um, completely unfulfilled orders no in the second table that's the one that no one accepted at all and you cannot find in the first table that's correct is that not the case um you can actually like if you look at the order ids values in the second table you find some of them though you don't have any corresponding values in the completed order table like uh, or like if you look at the driver actions for the particular order id you will find that no one accepted them um so yeah so like in this case you might think like this particular delivery was not fulfilled at all so it wasn't finished um and for those sadly i think you don't have enough information beyond uh, like um yeah, that there are number of uh, yeah number of drivers and um, anyway, I I I don't want to continue talking. Like um, um what who asked this question? Japes and who originally asked this? Milako. Um, please, if you like, uh, I don't know if I'm saying something that makes sense or not to you. So please speak up. Uh. I, yeah. I'm not sure if I get what, what you meant, but uh, so I, I just want to make sure that uh, which data to use for, for moving forward. So which, which data should I work on? So what everybody's doing right now? I just want to know that. Okay, so you have to, I don't know, like, um, what is the issue exactly? Like, why can't you use both? Like, why can't you use both the, like, the data, all the data you have, basically? Uh, because uh, uh, I just want to work on all the data, which has the rejected ones, too. But mm -hmm. I couldn't find something from the rejected ones. The, the completed orders data seems to be like a, a bit complete, but the other one is not. OK. Um, okay, that's a good point. Um, okay, Javes. Okay, uh, why, why, what I was trying to say is that uh, if the order on the reject uh, on the rejected data, mm -hmm. we have uh, the order ID, so we can match that with the first data that uh, contains the accepted one. So we know that some orders are rejected several times, then accepted by another driver. And I think we can assume that the rejection and the uh, acceptance of that order happened at the same day. So we can use that day. 
yes okay you know? that's you're correct completely correct yes i like i i agree with that it's still um i know did i call like um, maybe did i interrupt you do you want to say something more no that's it okay so you are both like milako and davis i are talking about slightly different things okay the thing is that if you try to merge your tables based on the order id column in both okay in the second table the one that has drivers actions you will find some order ids that are, have no correspondence in the first table the one with the completed orders so what Gabriel is talking about is that for some okay so uh let me start with like uh, what milako is talking about is that is are these uh, order IDs that don't have correspondence in the first table. For those, you don't have enough information. You don't have date. You cannot get the weather information. And basically, you cannot really, um, let you, like there are many things that you cannot really do regarding additional features. So this is one thing. So what is Milako is talking about, I think. What Gabbis is talking about is different for or like uh, the order when you merge you, you successfully merge the two tables with the uh, like uh, order ids that are shared between the two tables you will find that for each order for each order id there are several drivers some some of the drivers action of course one accepted and i think should be just only one and like uh, the, re the, remind the remainders of the drivers like rejected or like uh, I'm not sure, but I think that's how it works. So for those, like you can compare basically between drivers who reject and drivers who accept, basically, at the delivery. And of course, for that for that order, you have a date. Of course, you have the date and you have like the start time. You can just, of course, do what Davis is saying, is that like you can use the time for the start of the trip to just like say like this is the time where this order appeared basically and just get the, the weather information for that time so this is like a fine approach that's good but okay what okay what milako is talking about is the other ideas that don't appear at all in the first table and for those basically what i'm saying what i was saying before is that your hands are tied you cannot really uh, get like we we don't have the dates so we don't have the times or the dates so we cannot really add those so if you really for for you can proceed like dropping those and proceed with the rest if that's what you want to do basically uh so okay let me take uh so milako Japes, you have your hands uh, you raise your hands that's yeah, it. yeah. I think the the order IDs that are, that we can't match with the first data are very small. I think they are about six hundred or something. If I'm not, I'm not mistaken, I think we can drop them. Yes, you can. The, exactly, there are few. That's true. Uh, the thing is that okay. Let's just talking about for, or from the perspective of like uh, having. The thing is that, like, if you think about it, this means like these the other IDs, the ones that are yeah, there are small, there's small number of them in the second table, but they correspond basically to orders that were not complete, and if we have had, and this is just like uh, I think that is not our reality right now. If we have had more information from Gokada about these orders as well, orders that were not completed at all like if we had like information about the dates the location maybe um of of that uh, order um the time all of that information we could have like had an even like a chance for even more comparative um, analysis but alas, alas we don't have that so we don't have this information and it's like even if like uh, it's uh, first it's very small and we don't have complete information on, on it so basically we cannot do much analysis on that side we could have if we had more information so yeah so i like um does this like um maybe make sense to like everyone who was like uh, concerned about this milako japanese and maybe anyone else 
I hope that I didn't say something that was too confusing. Okay. Um, we can move. Uh, okay, so this question. Uh, we can move on to next. If there are other questions. Absolutely. Uh, anyone? Anyone who still have any question? Or any clarification? Okay, all right. Uh, if there is no one with any question, then we can call it a meeting. We are right on time. And then we meet in the next 30 minutes with the training led conversation uh, with Tamsken and Nyamosi. Okay. Um, yep. Grab coffee, grab anything, and see you shortly. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs>